Welcome to this lecture on the time value of money. I want to just briefly introduce what we'll be talking about during this lecture. Um, we'll start with introducing the time value of money concept. Then I'll proceed to the future and present values, single and multiple payments, how you calculate those through the time value of money, working with annuities, perpetuities, and then I'll wrap up with some big picture takeaways and um, just some final thoughts. So with that, let's get started in the time value of money lecture. So money has a time value component to it. Right? We know this intuitively because things like inflation and interest rate change the value of money over time. They erode the value or allow us to earn money on time. So our goal in this lecture is to understand this concept, these concepts more analytically. And we're going to develop tools and concepts related to the time value of money to help us quantify what this time value really is. Right. So more importantly, the time value of money concept is used throughout the field of corporate finance. It's just it's a bedrock concept and it's going to come up over and over again. So let me give you an example of what the TVM is. And let's take a look at this thing called future value. We have $100 today. What is that worth next year? Well, if we have an interest rate, let's say it's 5%, we can calculate with simple interest 100 times 1.05. That's $105 next year. Another example, $500. Let's say we have an interest rate of 8%. Again, we do the math. And this is a simple interest example. $500 today becomes $540 next year, assuming an 8% interest rate. All right, so that's the future value. So now let's talk about going backwards, the present value. So we know, let's say next year, we're going to be receiving $1,000. What would that be worth today. Let's say we have an interest rate of 8%. We know that the amount today, the question mark, times 1.08 equals $1,000. So let's just rearrange this. 1,000 divided by 1.08 equals $926. So $1,000 next year is equal to $926 today given this interest rate of 8%. One more example of the present value. We have $2,500 next year. What is this value today? So an interest rate, we need an interest rate. Let's just assume we're given an interest rate of 15%. Some amount today times 1.15 is equal to $2,500. Divide that out. And we can see that today, $2,500 next year is worth $2,173 today, given an interest rate of 15%. So let's just summarize. These are more mechanics. but And, and I'll explain the, the, the big concept also here. So today we have, um, we can go from the present to the future. That's called a future value calculation. And this equation over here on the right side shows us how we get from the present to the future. It's just a simple interest rate formula. We stick our money in the bank, we wait a year, and when we take it out, it's worth the original amount plus the interest amount. And that's the future value. Oftentimes, we actually are given some future amount we're told in a year you'll be receiving some amount. And we want to know, well, what is that worth today? And it's the same equation from the future value. It's just rearranged. Instead of multiplying, we divide the future value by 1 plus the interest rate. So just a, a note of, of language here. Sometimes, because we're going from the future back to the present, it's referred to as discounting. We are discounting from the future to the present. 
And you'll also hear, instead of an interest rate, it will be called the discount value or the discount rate. So th those are terms that you'll be hearing in finance in general when we calculate these present value calculations. And here they are side by side. So just now that we've got this up here visually, conceptually what's really what what we're saying is given an appropriate interest rate or discount rate, we can actually make an equivalency between the present value and the future value. So in the previous slide where I believe it was nine hundred twenty six dollars today was the same as a thousand dollars in a, in the future we're really saying given the appropriate interest rate those two things are identical so we would be equally happy with the nine hundred twenty six dollars today versus the thousand dollars in the future all right so now these were for sing single payments just one year apart so let's extend this a little and now let's look at single payments over multiple years, spread out over multiple years. So what do I mean by this? So let's say we have our $100 and this is in year zero. It's today. And I want to know how much is this worth in three years? So the previous examples would have been this one year. And I want to say in this example now, let's go out three years. So to calculate this, so imagine we're sticking this in a bank, so we need an interest rate let's just say that's seven percent and we want to know how much is this worth after three years so this is essentially this is just compounding and we'll do it annually so here's the math it's a hundred dollars times well let's do it one year at a time so one times one point oh seven right that's just to get us to the first year and that's a hundred and seven dollars right nothing special there now we're going to leave the money in the bank in this scenario. So we earn another 7% and that's $114 and then we do it again and we end up with $122. So $100 today is equivalent to $122 in three years given this interest rate of 7%. We are indifferent to receiving $100 today or $122 in three years given this interest rate. And obviously that means we know we're going to get the money and there, there's no risks of all that. That, that. Somehow all that's incorporated into the interest rate. So that's an example of a single payment that's over multiple years. So now let's just summarize this. This is essentially all we're doing algebraically is $100 times 1.07 to the third which is 122 and we can generalize this so it's really just the present value the hundred dollars times one plus the interest rate I raised to the nth equals the future value all right so that will tell us for any any single payment spread out over really any number of years it could be 10 years it could be a hundred years so we can use this formula to calculate it out now let's go backwards and just see what it looks like if we take the present value of a future amount over multiple years. So we have, in, I'm telling you now in this example, in year three, we're going to be receiving $2,000. So what is that worth today? All right, well, you can imagine that we just have to go backwards. Instead of multiplying, we need to be dividing. Now, of course, we need an interest rate a discount rate also you'll hear so in this case it's 12 percent and I'm just giving you that so we start with two thousand dollars divided by 1.12 1786 we keep dividing by 1.02 until we get to year zero and that is worth one thousand four hundred twenty four dollars so two thousand dollars three years out is equal to one thousand four hundred twenty four dollars today given this rate of 12 percent so um, what this is saying is is we're really indifferent between receiving one thousand four hundred twenty four dollars today and two thousand dollars in three years 
just to summarize this one, algebraically, it's the present value is equal to $2,000 divided by 1.12 to the third, and we can generalize it. Present value is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus i to the nth, right? We can do it for 10 years, for 50 years, any number of periods. It's the exact same methodology. So just to summarize this, the main equation is this present value times 1 plus i to the n equals the future value. And we can do it going forwards, or we can rearrange this same equation and divide by 1 plus i to the n to go backwards. Right? And here they are side by side.